Hey everybody, GT here from GT's Barbecue. Uh, I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, and if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, thanks so much. Uh, it, it really means a lot to the channel to hit that subscribe button. Uh, so today we're gonna do something really fun, a little bit different. We are gonna make mashed potatoes out of potato chips. This is something I've seen done uh, on YouTube quite a few times. I'm telling you, you're going to be surprised at how well this comes out. It's something fun you can do uh, with the family, and obviously the uh, flavor choices are unlimited. So uh, with no further ado, let's just get right to this. It'll be a short video today. Uh, stay tuned. I'll be right back, and we'll get rolling. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, let's go over the ingredients we're gonna have for our potato chip mashed potatoes. Surprise, surprise, we have some potato chips. I went with the Lay's uh, Classic. I uh, bet you can't eat just one. And I have here one cup of water, and I'm gonna do just a little splash of half and half, probably about an eighth of a cup. I'm gonna turn on the scale. I doubt if you can see that, but I have it zeroed out with my little container. And we're looking for about three, not about, we're looking for exactly three ounces of chips. There's one. Two, a little over two, two point seven, and three point one. Close enough. So this is my uh, three ounces of potato chips. I'm going to bring this water to a boil and uh, stir in the chips and we'll just keep stirring until it gets to the uh, consistency we're looking for and then we'll splash all half and half to get some creaminess and uh, we'll give her a taste. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. Okay, let's get this party started. One cup of water. And I think I said a minute ago I was going to boil this. I'm really not going to boil it, I just want to bring it to a simmer. So here we go. We're starting to get a little bubble action. I'm just going to go ahead and add my three ounces of potato chips. Oops, get back here. Add an escapee. And uh, I'm just going to kind of work these around. I don't think you really need to break them up that much. Just going to kind of push them down in the water. And we stir. And we stir. I'm going to pull that down just a little bit in temp. Starting to soften, as you would expect. And you're probably saying, the GT, those just look like wet potato chips <laughs> but just wait you just keep moving them keep them moving keep stirring and we move them and we move them and I don't want this to be too hot because I don't want the water to boil away so I've turned it down just above medium now because I just want that water to stay hot. And just let the chips kind of break down. It's starting to look a little bit more like mashed potatoes. Mmm, they smell good. Wow. <clears throat> A 
and we keep them moving, keep them moving. And now we're starting to come together into a... Kind of reminds me of the texture a little bit of cauliflower potatoes. So it's just a fun side dish to do. Uh, I did these the other day with a different flavor and wow, I have to say, <laughs> I served them to a neighbor and they did not know that they weren't mashed potatoes. In fact, they were quite impressed. Wow, these are really good. Good job. So now you're starting to get that mashed potato consistency. I don't know what that took. We're doing this real time, so maybe I don't know, two minutes, three minutes. We're just going to keep it moving, keep it moving. Obviously, this is a three ounce serving, uh, so it's not going to make a lot, but you just adjust the recipe. And I'm not going to add salt to this, of course, because it's a potato chip. Ha! Look at that. Does that look like mashed potatoes? Why, yes, GT. It does. So these are pretty well formed now into the potato consistency, but they're a little bit clumpy. It's a little bit sticky to the spoon. So I'm going to add, and what I'm going to say is about an eighth of a cup of half and half. About like so. You can add more, but you can't take any out. So let's mix, mix, mix a roux. Technical term. Oh yeah. Now we're starting to look like mashed potatoes. Hmm. So I didn't edit very much of this out because I wanted you to see how quickly this happens. And that's pretty much it. In less time, way less time than you could even boil a potato. I'm going to turn the heat off. You definitely don't want to dry them. And those uh, potatoes do really seem to very easily absorb that extra moisture, as you would expect. Hmm. <laughs> I cannot tell you how much that smells like potatoes. So there you have it. I'm going to let these sit here for a few minutes and uh, get a bowl, take this over to the uh, cutting board, and we'll take a taste. Stay tuned. You're not going to believe what's coming up next. So here's what we're going to end up with, and I am going to garnish these with some chives. You know, I definitely would add added uh, more half and half to this, so uh, maybe a quarter cup is probably what I'd go with. But they definitely look like mashed potatoes, so let's take a bite. It's mashed potatoes, man, I'm telling you. These, <laughs> you cannot tell these are potato chips. It's a really fun thing to try. Obviously, you can do all kinds of flavors. You can mix flavors, you can match flavors. It'd be a great thing for, uh, for the family, for the kids. Totally could pull this off uh, for an actual meal. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Everybody stay safe. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.